Amen. I want to thank everybody for tuning me in tonight. Amen. I want to thank everybody that helped me come over and amen, preach the Lord's Word tonight. Amen. And if you got a prayer request tonight and you're out there, amen, and you need us to pray for you tonight, amen, you can call 528-4671. Amen. We'll be happy to pray for you tonight. Amen. I still believe that prayer changes things with God. Amen. The Bible says to pray one for another that you may be healed. Amen. I still believe in prayer tonight. Amen. I still believe that God made the crippled man walk away and the blind man see that day. Amen. The Bible said he's the same yesterday, today, and forever. Amen. So I still believe that prayer changes things. Amen. So if you got a prayer request, again, call that number 528-4671, and we'll pray for you. Amen. And we'll believe and have faith in God that he'll move up on you tonight. Amen. And I want to welcome everybody to come down to Hensley Holiness Church. Amen. It's in Manchester, Kentucky, on Highway 11 toward Oneida. Amen. You'll go back past the Manchester shopper there on the right, and the church will be up there on the hill on the left tonight. Amen. And we have services Sunday at 6. Amen. And Tuesday night at 7. Everybody's welcome. Amen. To come out and be with us. Amen. And serve the Lord and worship Him in spirit and in truth tonight. Amen. If you got your Bible tonight, I'm going to be preaching in Luke chapter 8, 41 and 42. And 49 through 56. Amen. And uh, I want to thank the Lord for sending me up here to preach the good news of the gospel to give hope to all people that we can be saved through the blood of the Lamb Jesus tonight. Amen. We'll just apply the blood to our life and live according to the word of God. Amen. I thought about tonight if you're out there and you're lost. Amen. I thought about if you're riding down the road. Amen. And you're going the wrong way. Amen. Once you realize you're going the wrong way. Amen. You turn around and you start going back the right way. Amen. I thought about that's the way it is when we're lost tonight. Amen. Once we realize that we're lost, we need to turn around. Amen. Give our life over to Jesus tonight. Amen. He'll set us free of our sins and He'll save us. Amen. And He'll save us from this world and He'll save us from the troubles to come. Amen. He'll save us from that place called hell, most of all. Amen. Give us a heavenly home. Amen. Again, I'm going to be preaching in Luke chapter 8 verses 41 and 42 and 49 through 56 it said and behold there came a man named Jairus and he was a ruler of the synagogue and he fell down at Jesus feet and besought him that he would come into his house for he had one only one daughter about 12 years of age and she lay a dying but as he went the people thronged him while he yet spake there cometh one from the ruler of the synagogue's house saying to him that daughter is dead trouble not the master but when Jesus heard it, he answered him and saying, Fear not, believe only, and she shall be made whole. And when he came into the house, he suffered no man to go in, save Peter and James and John, and the father and mother of the maiden. And I all wept and bewailed her. But he said, Weep not, she is not dead, but sleepeth. And they laughed him to scorn, knowing that she was dead. And he put them all out, and took her by the hand, and called, saying, Maid, arise. And her spirit came again, and she arose straightway. And he commanded to give her meat or food. And her parents were astonished, but he charged them that they should tell no man what was done. Let's pray. O oh, Heavenly Father, as we come to you here tonight, Lord, we pray, Lord, that you just help us preach your word for a few minutes, Lord, that you send your sweet anointing down, Lord, to lift us up, Lord, and just help us preach your word, Lord, that if somebody's out there listening in, Lord, that's lost, Lord, that you touch them tonight, Lord, like only you can, Lord, and put them in a sheepfold, Lord, and turn their life around, Lord, that no matter what they've done in life, Lord, that you give them hope tonight that they can be saved. Um, Lord, we pray, Lord, anybody listening in, Lord, that's backslid or drifted off in darkness or grew lukewarm, Lord, we pray, Lord, that you touch them, Lord, and show them that the Father's love is forever, Lord, and that you'll welcome them back home to the Father's house tonight if they come. Lord, we pray, Lord, anybody are listening in, Lord, that's needing a blessing, Lord, we pray, Lord, that you bless them like only you can, Lord, because we know the Bible said that all good things come down from the Father of lights, Lord, and we pray, Lord, if there's somebody out there listening, Lord, that's needing a healing, Lord, we pray, Lord, that you just touch them, Lord, and let this word anoint them, Lord, and touch them from the top of their head to the bottom of their feet, Lord, inside and out, Lord, and just heal them of all manner of sickness and all manner of disease right now, Lord, in the name of Jesus, Lord, just help us preach your word, Lord. And amen.